Mind blown again by Mr. Kuhn. How does he keep doing it? How does he just keep doing it? So the strategy was get Quant to fall down by, you know, tricking them with the lighthouse and everything. And just when you think that Quant is done and Anak is going to go through, it's like, nah, 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 nah. Now that we made it look like we did our best for a checkmate scenario, Lowry comes out of fucking nowhere. And then he boosts them up, I think, along with, like, the lighthouse box, right? And then Quant wins. Meaning, the enemy team, Team B, that has bomb in it, is gonna pass. Because that's what Kuhn's plan was entirely. Him and the rest of the buddies on the paper, they're clean. They will pass even without this test. So I kind of feel bad for the rest of the people in Team A. But I think now we're gonna get started on Team B stuff. Let's begin today's reaction. That simp got a heel to their face. Is this her backstory? Wait, Zoro's a fucking light bearer? I thought he'd be a fisherman. Battle Royale. Damn. Hey, this is just like life. And this is Endorsey, right? Ooh, that blood on the steak. And then she rose to the top? How? Yeah, they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no one asked this. We ended off with her just putting a heel to his face. My plan worked. And now she just gave us a fucking backstory that no one fucking asked for. <laughs> it's pretty kind of interesting though, huh? This is the environment that she grew up in. It's like a princess boot camp. You get ranked based on your performance. And the higher rank you are, the better your food's gonna be. That's honestly just life. The rich get all the luxuries and the poor get fucking nothing. <laughs> But this is actually such an ignorant and a naive and a young opinion because like she is happy that she got to the top and congrats, you deserve this, right? You deserve this. But like if you could just think a little bit beyond and think about does this system make sense? Should we all be have to force to live like this? Some people thrive in this system and they'll basically said, I got mine, fuck everyone else. All these other princes down here, L, skill issue, trash. You deserve to fucking die. But I don't know. I just feel like if you could just realize how fucked this is, you could pursue a life where everyone can eat like this. <laughs> oh, she didn't outperform them. She just killed them all. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, there's no one to share it with. All right. All right, pop off, queen. Okay, she's kind of really twisted. She will pass for sure. I don't- this is the night, I think, of the princess. More heel to the face. What is she, a fucking tiger? It's not even close. Endorsey feels like the fucking villain right now. So that we can do that to her? Punch her, push her down, push her away. I feel like Endorsey's mindset here is saying this is the way to only to climb the tower is wrong. I feel like there's different methods of climbing the tower. And her strategy right now that she's mentioning that's just cutthroat and just cutting off the fat. Is that really the only way? It's a pretty extreme mindset. Hot? What the fucking revolutionaries? Quant. Oh, that was an unfair fucking jump scare. That's it. Okay. I do not like the look on Ho. 
Oh boy, this is like, what, three or four episodes in the making. Ko Ho has been in the pressure cooker, just being all edgy. He's probably embarrassed. You want something else going on? It, it, it does kind of feel bad, right? I do feel like she's the villain right now. This is... Uh. And we have the other, you know, actual teammates on the other team, so... Don't you know what? Yeah, she did, and then she killed them all. So she would have respect if he were strong enough to just kill her right now and eat all the nice food. Interesting mindset, huh? This is wrong. But, in a battle of survival, she's probably right. But, that's probably not the only way to get the results. But that's the only way that she found results. And that's how she's justifying her way of life, even though she might be a little bit embarrassed. But maybe Bama will show her the different option. Okay, let's see what the knight got. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, Ignite? I don't think that this is a princess series. But they mentioned ignition weapon category before. So I don't think the 13 month series is only the weapon that can get ignited. Other weapons get ignited. This is another weapon that is an ignition weapon. This shit should be banned though. Letter was specifically said like, no fucking ignition allowed. This is illegal. Naruma. Hats is keeping up pretty decently. Hats is just playing with us. <laughs> what was I doing? Putting my hopes on these fucking idiots. Hats fucking put a life or death play and then the revolutionaries just dis 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 them. You fucking idiots. <laughs> life is not fair. This is a perfect example how life is not fair. L teammates are fucking stupid dum dums, but they just get away because sometimes it's just blind luck. Oh! Good! Good! Death? You actually gonna kill? <laughs> Hey, I'm surprised too. <laughs> Fuck you, Rachel. Oh ho. So was the letter given by Rachel? Remember that letter? Do you wanna do you want power to climb the tower or some shit, right? Did Rachel seek out Ho? Or and that's why he's asking? Maybe. I don't know if that's a good enough logic. There was that letter though. There was that fucking letter. Red hair girl? Was it from you, Rachel? Or no? Who was- Oh! Oh, yeah! <laughs> the, the one time. The, the only one time where I'm gonna support Ho right now because I fucking hate Rachel more than Ho. <laughs> Go do it! What the? What? what? Hey! Yeah, 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 I was like, oh shit, the anime itself? But it's like, nah, people in the. We, this is like a fucking. Uh, what's this called? Intermissionception. <laughs> I don't think Bro cares. This, I, why can't you stop that? Really? Really? Everything Yu Han Sung does is so weird. Like, Leroy every time is like, yo, yo, we, we can't be doing this. And Yu Han Sung's like, shh, nah, 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 just let it happen. Let's let it cook. Just, just fucking let it cook. He's always drinking his fucking instant coffee. And just fucking like, just let it cook. So, does this not mean he's a prime candidate for the letter? Right? Would it not make sense that he gave the letter to bait Ho to do this? Because remember, the theory goes all the way back to this. 
The base theory is Yu Sung is trying to smuggle bomb. Now, does that make sense? Yu Sung is trying to smuggle bomb because he's an irregular. And Letero said that we, got, we can't have irregulars here. There's, there's a fucking massive chaos and stuff happens every time. Yu Sung was like, yeah, I know. That's why it's important to have him in the test so we can observe him. But that was already fucking weird. That was already like, this dude, is, is he trying to smuggle? And Letero said, is he trying to avoid my question or whatnot, right? And then, then the logic becomes... Because he's vouching for a bomb, right? He's vouching for a bomb. What did they say? What did Ho say about bomb here? This is important dialogue about the letter. I received a letter, right? What did the letter say? You want power, but what did he say? It said that if I got rid of you, bomb would also go away. That makes no sense. If Yu Han Song was vouching for a bomb to smuggle him in, then telling Ho to do this so that bomb goes away. Does that make sense? It, it doesn't make sense anymore, does it? No, it doesn't make sense. I'm confused now. I'm fucking confused now. I'm going nowhere with this. I, 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 I feel like I was cooking, but I think the microwave has a metal spoon in there now and there's lightning sparks going off. I, I don't know. But we know that Rachel's not the letter giver. What, what, what's big boy moving? Why did big boy start to move? Uh, fuck Rahel! She's right. If you try to do this in real life, a girl says, go away, leave me alone. And then he tries to be like, no, I know that, but I'm still going to chase. Now, if you're as good looking as Bum and you're a main character of an anime, it's romantic. In any other scenario, that's sexual harassment. Don't do it, okay? <laughs> Leave her alone. This is the uh, privilege of being a cute boy in an anime. I guess he can't ignite anymore, huh? Michel, like, can't connect. Yeah, he just did. Now he's gonna come here. So, someone is manipulating Ho's hatred for Bum to lure Bum out here. That person who gave the letters best interest is to kill Bum. So, yeah, my theory about Yu Han Sung's letter doesn't make sense anymore, right? Right? Because, like, why would he fucking give the letter if the goal here seems to be to kill Bum by using Ho's revenge against him and by using Rachel. I am fucking confused. Quanti! Hello! You're trying to kill a fucking student here. What he said was true. No shot! No shot! Kun fucking predicted this! Kun said the letter? No! 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 no wait. He? Uh, unless he was... Who's he here? There's too many fucking variables. <laughs> Another testing instructor? <laughs> Shibisu, bro. <laughs> nah, Paracule. Nah, 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 nah. It was Paracule. Nah, nah, nah. You remember Turtleneck? Turtleneck got fucked up by the, spe you know, the Spear Bear Revolution. Turtleneck got fucked up immediately. Paracule, we didn't see the outcome of Paracule. Paracule gave the answer to Quant as leverage and saying, leave me alone. Let me, let me give you a little tip here. And then, because he's so smart, right? <laughs> Great leader Paracule is so smart. <laughs> he set all this up in advance. <laughs> oh, Paracule still got fucked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I agree. You should kill her, though. You should kill her. I'm down for that. Oh, everyone's here now. <laughs> Okay, now what? <laughs> He's about to do what everyone in the show watching this probably wants. There's probably like... 1% of people that watch this that actually enjoy Rachel. 99% people fucking hate her. Anime only. Now, if you're a webtoon reader, there's thousands of fucking chapters, right? So it's like, I, who knows how Rachel becomes in the future. I'm saying anime only right now, though. Like, if, you're, you're an, if you are an anime only, and you enjoy Rachel, that... Is just something I cannot like comprehend. This is set up? 
Set up by who? Red hair girl? Red, 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 she's here? This girl is the most mysterious too. Something about her. I mean, it's not something about her. It's the fact that she fucking says nothing. She had a gim suit. She tried to kill Rachel. Like, I... What the fuck is up with this girl, bro? Wait. So he did send the letter? He made Red Girl send the letter. If you're gonna show me Boom Boom, then both of them were in on it together? Is she a secret test proctor? What the fuck is she? There's something really special about Red Hair. We're still playing tag? Imagine being such a loser. You blame someone else for being better than you. Like, I just... This kind of mindset is the most embarrassing. Just look at yourself for a moment and ask yourself, why are you upset at someone else being stronger than you? Yeah, because it's unfair because he's going to pass the test. Skill issue. So maybe you should look deep within and try to realize why you're better. And like, the worst thing is, he tried to act like Bam was weaker. And he was trying to help out a weaker person. Then he realized, oh, this guy's actually fucking cracked. Then it's like, the insecurity got to him. What a fucking loser. <laughs> Quant, you're the fucking proctor here. You're a fucking ranker that climbed the tower. You should be able to immediately defuse the situation. Am I crazy? Or is Quant just not doing anything right now? Bro, you're a motherfucking ranker. These are fucking tutorial characters that probably don't even have fucking levels when you're like level 1000 something. Like, fucking do something, pussy. Like, do something. Oh, like, even if he's nerfed in this state, there's no way. Like, he should not be able to take care of this. What did he just do? He just ran through us. <laughs> this is getting weirdly sexual. I just injected a bunch of fucking Shinsu in you. Okay, so we're gonna do teamwork. You're gonna do that, then Bam will get the girl. Bro's too busy playing tag. He's not gonna you know, solve the situation. Bam, you do it. Oh! <laughs> did he just feel that? He did. What's up with Big Boy? Rachel felt that. He felt that. There's a connection between these two? What is Big Boy? <laughs> Irregular, baby. Because I'm a literal fucking dog chasing after my owner because I have no understanding of human relationships because you grew me as a child and I think you as a god like a mom. You taught me everything. I don't know what to do without you. Even though this is all fucked up. Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> Rachel... And Big Boy were the same? Some kind of connection. It looks like he's gone. Did he just get sacrificed? So he's like two lives. Rachel had two lives? This guy just died for Rachel? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> bro said nothing. That's a lot of blood. Quant, this is your problem, bro. You fucking did this. You want to go play more tag. You let this happen, Quant. <laughs> If you're gone, I can go up. Do you really think so? Like, 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 this is tutorial to see if you can climb the tower. Okay, so because Bomb is the same position as you, you think that because of him, you're not going to get past the tutorial. Do you really think a person that can't get past the tutorial because of a reason like this could ever climb the actual fucking tower? Like, what do you think is going to happen when you go beyond and actually get to the actual floors with other people and, and other rankers? Like, what do you think will happen then? He's going to start blaming them too! This character actually sucks so much. You're too naive, Bum. You're way too naive. I don't give a fuck. Listen, I do not give a fuck about his backstory. The people coming to take his people's horns and shit, him being like the last fucking you know, clan member, 
I do not give a fuck. That has no fucking impact on how he perceives Bomb as a threat and how he thinks that he can't do anything because Bomb exists. This backstory, he's emotionally manipulating you to make you feel bad when you just think a moment to realize what the fuck is he doing? Bro's trying to fucking use this as a fucking shield. <laughs> So what? Blame me yourself, pussy! That's a creepy ass monster, though. You let them die? I mean, you weren't even strong enough to do anything about it, so I doubt it wasn't even your choice. Serena! End yourself, bro. End yourself, bro. End yourself, bro. See if I care. Don't care. I don't care. Trash fucking character. What a waste of a fucking, you know, dialogue. I swear to God, if someone fucking heals him, I, he better fucking die right now. I swear to God, if someone heals him. Quant is actually such an L fucking instructor, though. Just like... I... Listen, I'm happy of the outcome, but if you think about it, Quant just let two fucking people just get, like, almost killed. Like, he could have just stopped everything. Bro was like, all right, I'm gonna go play tag. Bomb, you fucking take care of it. Bye. <laughs> he just let it happen, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's time to go play tag, bro. Come on, let's go. And Doris is here. Oh, shit, she took the ignition weapon. Why do I have a feeling Serena's gonna have a fucking moment right now? Something about Serena's demeanor this episode and last has been really serious. It just feels like she's about to slap Endorsey, right? Am I crazy? Like, for the first time, it feels like Serena looks like a fucking main character right now while Endorsey looks like a fucking villain, right? <laughs> Yo! Is she about to have a moment? <laughs> Yo, the timing, the synchronization and the soundtrack with the slap. Listen. <laughs> Good. Good. I think that slap was warranted. Listen. Of course, I like Endorsey more than Serena, but in this specific context, in this episode, based on everything that we've seen so far, I feel like that slap was completely deserved. <laughs> yes. Alright, time to go pack tag again. Endorsey's a killer right now. Oh, Anak! Oh, 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 she smiled! Oh, oh! <laughs> Oh, baby Anna gets back. This is very cute. I still think we should let her die, though. Okay. Yeah, the nerf to the floor, right? As a proctor. <laughs> we talked to, we did. Oh, you can't fight like that. You're just not built that way. She's very aware. Ooh, Hime-sama got her entire thing straight. Damn, this feels fucking... This speech from Serena is like, what the fuck? It feels like... I don't know, like someone that's just completely washed, like in their fucking like 30s or 40s, going back to college and looking at all these fucking young ass kids achieving their dreams and thinking, damn, what did I do with my fucking life?
This speech right now is just... Holy shit. Yeah, all the things that she's saying right now is obviously very, like, um... Relatable to a lot of different people and their different aspects of life. This is a very deep moment, even though I thought that she was... Honestly, a joke of a character. Close them eyes. I found that cap. What the? What are you doing right now? <laughs> I'm such a simple. <laughs> that's a that's a straight up line from her. She always says, "I use men like toys." I'm such a sinful woman. He heard those lines though. Where's the badge? It's in there, right? No. Is that your panties? It doesn't really look like panties. It looks like spats or anything. But okay, she put the underwear in there. Oh, she just got it there. She just got it. Oh, that was fucking smooth. That was fucking smooth. During this moment, she took the badge, right? Oh my god. No. Quant, man. You're just too stupid. Quant's fucking brain is power is just... At least take a sniff. He's gone, Rack. I don't know, Rack. He's gone. He was just laying low the entire time. And that's today's episode of Tower of God. It looks like the tag game is done. And Team B wins just as how Kuhn planned. Him even sleeping there was not even sleeping. Bro was just laying low to make sure that, you know, the suspicion levels wouldn't rise because obviously he's the one that orchestrated the entire thing. So it's looking like Rachel and Big Silo Man are somehow connected. I think that Rachel's gonna be fine. There's no way she dies here. Obviously not, right? But Big Silo Man, I think he's gone because they're somehow tied like a life force. I'm not sure. And the letter? Who gave the letter to Ho? Um, there's a very obvious frame that shows up immediately, which, you know, leads to the red hair girl and Yu Han Sung. But like, I'm thinking like, hmm, it, it, like, it sounded like they wanted to get rid of Bum, right? So I'm like, if Yu Han Sung's vouching for Bum, then why would he give that letter? But I just can't make that connection in my head. But there was a moment when we saw the red hair girl immediately after, you know, seeing Ho panic, right? Red hair girl and Yu Han Sung. So I want to believe they're somehow in on it together. Red hair girl just does, does not feel like a regular tester. I'm uh, sorry, a regular applicant here. I think that she's somehow like a secret proctor, maybe working with Yu Han Sung. Almost like a fucking private, you know, agent going in. Why? What was the whole point of this? To kill Rachel? Was the whole goal here to kill Rachel? Because Rachel's bad for Bum? Is that what you want some Because, like, if you think about it, Red Hair Girl? Remember what Red Hair Girl did? She went to try to kill Rachel immediately instead of going for Bum in the crown game. So, this further, this further, like, validates the theory that it's quite likely that whether or not Red Hair Girl is working with Yuhan Sung, her goal is to get rid of Rachel. And right now, it kind of did look like we got almost rid of Rachel. I don't fucking know. It's, it's, it's pretty all over the place, but I feel like it's something like that. And Dorsey's entire backstory, it's pretty cold and ruthless, but that's like the way that she had to live as a child. And obviously she's still a kid, so her like, you know, understanding of the world and society and like in even living in a world like this is gonna make you be so extreme to think like it's, you know, um, only one person to the top, everyone else can eat shit, but Bamden also introduces like a different way of like climbing the tower and thinking, no, we can do it together. So it's basically power of friendship versus power of oneself. You know, the classic shonen elements that we always hear about. But that's it for the, for the tag game. I think that we have four episodes left. So one more test to finish this season and then we head into season two. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.